Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Fire Emblem Engage. And last time we got the Pact Ring from basically a Lear's Paralog. So today we are continuing the story. And I'm not sure how many chapters we have left in this game. I'm going to assume the final chapter is just called Final Chapter. So, but we are over here. Let's skip through this. This place really doesn't look that habitable, to be honest. It looks like just a big rocky range. Chapter 23, Lava Fields. It's called... The Four Hounds, which is a weird chapter name since I think we got rid of several of them, maybe. Or they retreated. Seeking to break the barrier in the sky above Elios, the party hunts down a fell dragon shard. So it doesn't look like it's that crazy of a chapter. That's my guess. Now let's get over there. I think we're going to have a pretty easy time, though, since I think the last paralogue was meant to be very difficult on purpose. Because that felt difficult. Like, really, really bad, really. Over here! The Fell Dragon Shard is nearby. I'm glad you can tell where they are, Vale. I can't really sense them myself. Hold on. I see people. It looks like... Yes. Zephia and Gris. <sighs> they must be guarding the Shard. Are you going to be okay? If I'm going to stop Papa, then I can't avoid this. Sooner or later, I have to face them. Let's go. All right. Wait, did they even know that we're here? I don't think so, right? Zephia, Gris. My lady, we have been awaiting your arrival. <sighs> oh, I see. It's you again. And from the looks of it, the other Lady Vale is no longer with us. She's... gone? That's right. Wormed your way back in, huh? I never thought you'd come out on top, Defect. Stop calling her that. No one will speak that way about Vale ever again. You! Hey, whoa! What's this? Aren't you dead? I have become an emblem by the power of all the emblem rings, so I can save this world. We're here to stop Papa. Both of you, please, step out of the way. And let you through? I think not. Lord Sombron is opening the portal to other worlds. We're here to protect this shard. Not even our Lady Vale could command us to step aside. Then you're prepared to die. You mean to kill us, Lady Vale? Oh, what a sad turn of events. Even after I doted upon you, cared for you as if you were my own. It used to make me happy when you said things like that. But I know they're lies. Now. You're just two of Papa's followers. Enemies to defeat. That's all. Why are you singling us out? There were four of us. Mavir was my knight. Marnie too. I've been told. She died trying to save me. Why did you kill her? I didn't even get to tell her goodbye. I took Marnie into my family. I looked after her. What did I get in return? Betrayal. How can you call the Four Hounds family? Treating them so... viciously. Because I loved them. When children stray, one must punish them. Or worse, as needed. That isn't real, love. Oh, is that right? Maybe I've never known real love. I know my own heart and my own thoughts. That's all that's important to me. But we'll never see eye to eye. Not in a thousand years. I serve Lord Sombra. I've done so for a very long time, fully committed to anything he needs. I got no plans to switch sides, not even if we lose. Got it? I see. I suppose this is goodbye then. I'm sorry to say, we've got no other choice but to fight them. Are you sure? They're not listening. If only they would leave for their own sakes, but they want to fight. We need to stop Papa. That means I 
have to put them behind me. It's about time I do. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm just realizing this is a lava area. Oh, no. Oh, no. I have a bad history of lava-based locations in these games. Oh, I'm going to get hit by a lot of lava, aren't I? They're always so difficult. And it's not even the final chat. I mean, does it make sense? Okay, let's see. What kind of map do we have here? Looks like we got a bunch of big guys. Four of them? More specific? Oh, 14? Is 14 slots? This is the first map I've seen that has that, right? Oh, Lord. Okay, 14. That's not what I was expecting. You know, that's perfect. Actually, you know, 14? I'll take it. I kind of wish every single map had, like, up to 14, actually. That's really cool. Okay. Because that was kind of sad that I had to drop some units. The 14... What is this reference? Extremely potent tool. If the user initiates combat attacks twice. Okay. It's used to if the opponent has, um... 42 resistance though, so it is a flying tomb though. Wait, it's a flying tomb, so it hits pretty good too. But Alir can just dodge it, right? Just dodge. Uh, what is this? A dagger, sword. It's a sword. Okay. The genie blade that smashes foes, smashes map follow up, or strike first, initiating combat. So it's like a heavy weapon, but it hits really hard. And you have Thorwan, so... Interesting combo. Fortify, so he's also a healer. It's the stone, just a ginormous spike in the ground. Okay, cool. Alright, let's see. Is there anything like, special that's being dropped here? Goddess's icon, that's whatever. Um, I wish you could see like on the minimap, like what items are ho some units are holding. Hmm. It's like, that's like it? Kinda sad, right? Yeah, okay. Funny enough, I was actually gonna get rid of Louie. I was really at an ends on which one I should bring instead. But, I mean, I could bring 14 units. And Hanette, I dropped her because, well, I didn't have a choice, I feel. It was kind of painful that I had to lose up one of my backup characters, but she's joining us. Cool. Alright. Because defensive-wise, she has the weakest defenses. So... Should I just give her a Marth? It gives her avoiding, avoidance, which is cool. We'll look at the other characters first. Prom, Tiki, no, Corrin. This is, this is good stats. I don't know who exactly I'll pick. I might just pick Marth though, because of avoidance. Mark, let's go. So I'll take this. I mean, it requires inheritance skills, so that's whatever. Alright. Let's see. And I realize Lap Lapis with Camilla is good because decisive strikes the thing. So getting crits on a character like Lapis is really cool. Let's see. Get axe. Ooh. I'll just take this. Um, I didn't even bother checking. Like, it's a one range. Okay. Old axe. Yeah, fat. So like a tomahawk or something would be good. Cool. Tia Veil, Silver Dagger, she has Erica, of course, naturally. Roll down, hand axe. Physic. No heals, because I just used the last one for him. Let's give him like this. It's okay. Let's see, Brave Axe, Hand Axe, Hurricane Axe. Bryonic, Rider's Bane. Where's more speed? It's the same. Okay. But she has more resistance, so Louis doesn't need Hector more. Alfred Leaf is pretty good, I would say. Yeah. Yes, it racks. Okay, Golden Mary has a Steel Axe for no reason. Cool. Any heal Physic Obstruct. I'm gonna keep Obstruct on all my characters because it's super good. Silence, on the other hand, might be good. Alright, I think I feel, I feel pretty good now. Okay, actually, is there an emblem ring that's, like, super important that I absolutely need right now? Like, that doesn't have a oh, weirdo right now. Because we have Prom, Tiki, Corn, Ike, 
It's only Celica is one that I would say I would need, but I have Soren, which I kind of like a little bit more, so... And John has Makaya, and Fram has Violet, so... None of my high magic users really can, like, you know, do much work. Maybe Veil? But once again, she has Erica, so... Let's start. We have to defeat Sephi and Gris. Then, we can break the shard. What was that? Those two. It must be their doing. They can attack using the shard. And I'm sure they'll do it again. Destroy the Feral Dragon Shard. You must defeat its attendants, Zephyr and Gris. Zephyr and Gris will use the shard's power to unleash devastating volcanic bombs. They'll strike every few turns. The, the bombs destroy boulders and deal heavy damage to allies hit by them. A warning will indicate where the bombs will fall, so take care to move out of the way. Okay. the game gonna tell me exactly where these reach? It seems to be the case. Okay. Why is this a thing right here? Okay. What's our move? Is this a staff user? Who is it? Who is it? Is it you? No. Like, right off the bat, I see some weird, like... What's this going on over here? Oh, it's you. Freeze. Oh, okay, got it. Let's see. Corruptor Worm, he used to be like a big deal. Understood. Not anymore. Looking at the map, we kind of thought you were bring Jade on this side. It is what it Shall is. Shall we dance? Yeah, dance for now. Huh, I feel refreshed. Well, I guess I could have swapped these faces far, but I mean, it doesn't matter, I think. At this point, attack you. 15 damage. I mean, you're the only one that can do damage to me, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize you got one shot. Oh my gosh. Wow, you have low health, don't you? What's out of the other one? Of you. Oh, 34. So that's like damage health these guys. Let's see, and then you guys got like 45. Okay, and you have like 40. Okay. I mean, I'm not in any harm, like, at all, so I can just... This isn't so bad. And then just hang out. Or I can just do this, and it'll be fine, I think. I'll do it! Ooh, wait, you can? You can do something. Silver Great Axe. Wait, what's your defense? 24? I mean... Actually, gotta check out what type of... Are you a hold mic? Okay, you're everything. Got it. Which is bad, by the way, I would say. So I can just do this. I feel pretty confident because I'm gonna of double course. them. Potentially. Let's go. And go here. Yes. And then we can just chain guard because why not? Increase spawn level on Makasha. Healing light. Healing light. When unit heals an ally with the staff, unit also recover. Oh, wait. It's okay. That's pretty good. Get to Wouldn't miss it. You can't do anything. That's fine. Let's see, I won't lose. Let's see here. I only have an Andrax. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I have so much, like, here we go. Hit fighters now. It's so okay. nice, though. I love it. Ready for me? Yeah, they're just gonna use a spear just so I can get more backup on the left enemy. I'll help. Let's see here. Is I I've got the this. last one to attack? No, I can just do this and then use this. Yeah, yeah this is fine. Allow me. I'm assuming they're gonna destroy this at some point soon. And then we can just do this to see like what can no we do to us. 
feel like having a Whatever cover you say. is gonna be important, but until then, we're just gonna keep doing this. This feels like a pretty chill chapter so far. And I was expecting freezes. I don't know how many enemies have it, but I'm assuming it's a decent amount. Okay, Zoe, I knew he was gonna get hit, but I expected this guy to at least move a little bit. Man, okay, that sucks. Alright, and then you have these guys, this is fine. They can't push the guard. But... Oh, and I missed. I mean, and they dodged in. And, and, and I dodged. There we go, it works. It's not. Oh man, look at the accuracy on this thing is a little bit higher than I was expecting. 35 to yes. make it? Oh, really? I mean, that's Made right. quick work of that. Sweet. Yeah, I put her there on purpose, I forgot. Nice, good job, me. Alright, where are they aiming this thing? Retreat isn't an option. I will die if I must to protect the shard. You? That's crazy talk. If anyone's dying today, I've got first dibs. Besides, we'll fling these babies at him till nothing's left but bone char. Oh man, okay, those are some awkward locations for that thing. Okay, huh. Man, that really messes up like the locations I want to put some of my characters. If I do this, we can't get rid of them. Ooh, and actually, they, wait, these units, are they like super fast? They're not, it's just Panette's base speed is like dog water. Hmm, okay. We're gonna work on the right side then. I guess, since we really don't have much choice, I would say. I... Who would I pick first? And this does work. Alright, so Sphere here. That's if all these attacks land. Let's Need see. help? Oh, this? One more. Down okay. That was fun! Thanks. Well, that's Sandstorm that worked, wasn't it? Alright, cool. That works that gets used that gets that procs so often, it's very nice. Okay, let's see. Demon's next, it looks like. To attack with Steel Sword. I mean, to cause break at least. I'll go first. Oh All right, this will hurt. There we go. All right, a crit. A proud yeah, victory. A, a little bit easier for us. The right side has a lot of characters. That's why the left side has less, causing kind of a problem for us. I would say. I have to deal with that. Yeah, you can't move. Unfortunate. Okay, so we can do this. This is fine. Allow me! Oh, you're nice, thank you. I think Ivy might get rid of this big guy over here, maybe. I say that, but I don't know how good of an idea that would be. So we'll just get rid of you. I'm not sure like how how far we can get to the enemies on this one turn. That would be kinda of rough. Like just leaving one alive is fine since I think we can also survive one hit. Even still, I mean, just doing this is fine. I mean, they can't do anything to us, anyways. Like, what do they have? Plane I'll lands? go first. Oh, nice. So you're actually zero damage. Alright, goodbye. Nothing left of you. I don't even. Ooh, she can build still and speed. She's not the fastest character on the team, so these are nice. Go here, chain guard. And then we can go... He's like a really good unit for this. 25 speed, this guy's got... 4. I don't like how it forces that ratio right there. Okay, let's see. Looks like a better unit. I mean, it would probably be Gold Mary, right? It would have to be. She has silver lance. One, two, three, four, five. Like Tamara can reach though. Who has more? Oh, Gold Mary has 60 HP. Okay, I guess I know who I'm picking. 
Start having 60 HP kind of kind. makes her the best choice. Nah, just spray right there. Okay. And then we just go use this. Like, even if they do hit us, it's not like you kick back. Alright, come on. I could use a hot spring. Okay. What kind of weapon do you have? Hesh cats. Okay, you have a crit weapon. Huh. Now we have like this guy over here. We can do this. Or we could like do this or something. Which neither really feels like it's a good idea. I wonder how many turns we have until we actually are gonna get hit. These are impassable. So a uh, way to defend ourselves is having our tankier characters be like on the outside. I'm like still this. quite capable. And I something like this, it's fine. But these characters are dangerous. And then we can have because you're in range still. So I can just attack you from a range. It's very dangerous. And you can't really reach. You're the least dangerous person in our team, so three Lance works. And you do zero damage to me, so that's cool. <laughs> Cool, and who else should I have? I mean, it's just because she's so weak, right? And the Tomahawk isn't going to do her any favors if it misses. Mm. Like, anyone else really works. Like this. Yeah, I have to just take the guarantee hit. Oh, she doesn't gain that much experience anymore. How much? Like, what is she? Oh, level 38. I mean, that is still good. I mean, I'll just Dragon Vein. Uh, like this. Boom. I can do this, and then I can... I'll just Chain Guard. Okay. Alright, we're gonna take a hit. Alright, well, nothing we could do about that. Oh, wait, I didn't realize it was gonna be. Yeah. No I didn't realize it was gonna destroy all the rock. Actually, I didn't even realize it was gonna just drop on the next turn. That's dangerous. Okay. Good thing they all attacked Lapis for no reason. Thank you for that. Oh, is it because she has a one range weapon? That must be it. Like, why would you attack her? It's because she can't counter. And everyone else has one. I think. But these fly enemies, they need to go, okay? Let's see. What can we do to deal with all of this? We can kind of just do this. Alright, and just Silver Axe. This is kind of fine though. I get rid of one. Allow me. And yeah, he's actually doing some work. No, I I'm not happy about how good he's doing now. And he's not even that high of a level, so. No, I'm not talking about the level three. I mean the fact that he gained so much experience. Okay, let's see. I mean, it is like plus five silver weapons. Here sure. we go. I mean, that's important. You can die now. Sorry if that was too much. Uh, I'm assuming these enemies just have like very low speed. No, 21's pretty good. It's the build that they have, so they don't drop speed stats. It's very nice. Okay. My characters like Lapis really needs experience and Planet, so they're gonna be fed a lot of experience, I think. Ready. So first you. Yeah, just use Wolf Tower, I guess. Yeah, it's fun. I will protect everyone. Oh, let's see. I won't let this go to uh, my head. No. 
I did put her in the arena before this. Retribution is due. And I'm not looking forward to like the 50 support conversations I'm gonna have. But hey, what can you do? Oh wow. Okay. Um. I'm gonna do this. Okay, that's scary. I'm sorry you had to see that. And that was very scary. That she was that close to just dying. Magic and res HP, magic and resist. Do you have Star Sphere? You don't. Ooh, I probably should have given you that, huh? You know what? I think after this fight's done, I'll give her a Star Sphere. I didn't realize she didn't have it. I should have given her a PP. Wonderful. Oh man, I kind of dropped the ball on that, didn't I? Oh well. Yeah, I think you would have been a huge one for her since she would get Star Sphere, right? That she can hopefully gain like more defensive stats or something. That's the one thing that she's really low on right now. Let's see, flyers only. It doesn't say there's anything, there's any problem in cleaning my character here, so I'm just gonna. This is not enough. Excalibur roll though. All right? Yes. Okay. Excalibur. Boom. Wait. Chris has another Rintu, doesn't he? Wow, this is oh this is only Excalibur in this game's A? What? But Nova is S. I didn't realize that. Oh, they actually made Excalibur an A rank term. Hmm. I I'm, mean I'm assuming this is also a win magic, right? I mean the fact that they made voting look like this really makes it hard to penetrate in the and this is red, green, I mean yellow, so you can kind of tell the difference, but... Mm. Also, I'm really happy that Alfred actually is pretty good now. Oh, he doesn't even lose speed with Brave Lance. Nice. Really? Why don't you lose speed? Is this build just so high now? I never bothered checking it, but I'm assuming it's really high. Because before, it would drop his speed stat. This thing hasn't broken yet. I mean, I can just walk around, what am I saying? I can just do this. As if it's something crazy challenging to do. First, I gotta check what this guy's... Resistance 4? That's whatever. So I can just equip anything, really. I'll just equip this. It doesn't matter. Let's see. I'm gonna... Dance for Gold Mary so she can go on the left side because I think the left side makes Thank you. I'm gonna check the map again. Yes, Gold Mary is like just one of the strongest characters I have now. Um, left side has two enemies, right? So, I mean, they, this would give them a big help, I think. Alright. So this side is pretty good because this side is gonna keep Ivy. Let's see. This side doesn't really have any like thing else to do, so she's just gonna chain guard, I guess. She's just hanging out. I could use Violet, but I'm sorry not to. So... Man, zero percent accuracy really hits hard. Man, it's so sad to see. Okay, what? Where's this thing aiming? The rocks. Cool. Thank you. Oh gosh, okay, never mind, don't thank you. Oh gosh, I'm in there right now. And they would have been time to do this, don't they? Alright, let's see. I need to be put in a position where I don't just get blasted by every enemy. 28 defense is kind of good enough. For the most part, I'd say. But... The resistance not being that good is always not... Well, it's not good. Alright, cool. This means that at least I can counter everyone. What's the range on this? That's not bad. So, I can like push a lot of my characters to be a little bit closer. Wait, that hits? Oh, okay. So having another like tankier unit. Hmm. I mean... It would just make them attack. 29. I mean, she doesn't get doubled, so... That's fine, really. Let's see. Gold Mary. I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? With elegance. 
like she can go here, it's kind of okay, I'd say. I think it really doesn't matter because um they're gonna get healed soon. I mean, this rock's gonna be gone. Yeah, I think the rock's gonna be gone. The rock's gonna be gone next turn, so I don't really have to walk around it that much. I can just go here. And she can go like right here. It's gonna be gone soon, so. Uh, Sally, I can't say the same for this one. Why did it have to be here? It could have been like here or something. I would have been a lot happier. Alright, Tamara. Ooh, man. Okay, this is kind of awkward. I can like do this. And like hellfire you. Jeez. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Actually, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. What's your speed? 17. Alright, we're fine. I can just attack you with Levin Sword. I mean, you're gonna chain guard? That's okay, because you're not doing anything else. Maybe I should have used that. I'm guided by the emblems. But I mean, I think this guy's gone anyways, so... Spear plus five? Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Allow me! Let's see... That's it. She has Speed Taker, which she doesn't really need anymore, but... She's keeping it for now. Let's even have Jade. I'm gonna push her as far as we can. It's my plan, anyways. Dance. Thanks. Uh, put you, go, oh, put you right there. And then we go here. Diamant. And then we can kind of like just figure out like what enemy do we want to like focus on right now. And this would put Zephia in range of us, which I really don't want to do. So doing this might not be a good idea. I said I could go something like this. It's fine. All right, well, we're gonna take some damage here. That's right, they destroy it first. I'm I'm so dumb. I forgot they break it first. Oh gosh, I think Manette's dead here. <laughs> Alright, we're spamming the plus button real quick. Um, oh gosh, okay. Alright. We have to... We gotta do... We gotta redo an entire turn. You know what, I'll be honest, I'm kind of... I don't like that. <laughs> I, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Oh gosh, okay. Man, that's kind of... <laughs> I'm kind of upset about it. I'm kind of upset that that's a thing that can happen. Hmm. Yeah, that's the only thing I've really been upset about in these games. That's one of the few things I've really been upset about so far. That um... Because one of the things I really first. didn't like about the... <laughs> Uh, older that fire emblem games, Thanks. right? Like, there's a lot of them out there that has the same thing, and that is when you have like reinforcements, and there's like enemy reinforcements, and then the enemy gets to move those reinforcements immediately, right? It feels like oh, you gotta reset the count because you didn't really die. This time, it's really, victory it's a really was mine. Situation. Of course, this isn't as bad, but the fact that it destroys the borders and then they get to move, I really don't like. I would be 100% okay with this if the enemy player moved and then the boulders moved. But it's not the case, it's the opposite. And I actually hate it so much. I really don't like it. I think it's awful. So, that's sad. Huh? I, so I think Seagull should get on the left side. Because the right side is just fine. Okay, we're just gonna go here. Alright. 
So yeah, this side is kind of okay already. Yeah, the fact that this side gets the meteors destroyed first and then they get their attack is disgusting. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay. If it was the other way around, I wouldn't hate the meteors really. Of course, you do get told where it is, but still that doesn't make me not like it any less. Let's do this. Okay. Pick up this steel dagger. Cool. And this is fine. Alright. I think that, it's, that it does that at the start of turn. It sucked. Oh, it doesn't, it's not just 25 HP. It's actually based off of... Yo, know, what is that? It might be based off defense. It looks like... It looks like it's 40 damage. <laughs> So 40 damage it takes, and then that's why Jade took zero damage because she has like 42 defense. It might be. Happy Alpha's the one taking all the hits. Because he's been very dependable so far. The fact that I'm saying Alpha's dependable, even though it's been a long time since he's been really good for me, is cool. Alright, because there's a long time in the game, that whole middle section, that I didn't use Alfred, and he slowly became not good. But right now, he is putting in work. Okay, let's see. I don't really have that much to like, worry about over here. Like, at all. Like, what, you got like these dudes? Like, what are they gonna do? Actually do damage to me? Yeah, right. I'm gonna do this. And just get rid of this guy completely. Like, these other guys can't even do damage to me, so... I'll just... Yeah, nice. Okay, well yeah, this right side really doesn't have much going for it. That's kind of the reason why I decided to put Seed all to the left here. Even though we can't reach anybody, that's awesome. Really, no one's in range. Can I push someone in range? Not really, okay. Wow, this thing here, this boulder, this impassable boulder, really is just there for no reason. I hate it. Okay. I'm gonna attack you first. We're just gonna use a spear. Get rid of that. Eh, no, no, this is just better. Get rid of you first. What's the point of you? Another good level up. I mean, she's already strong, anyways. I don't. Yeah, like she doesn't really need much. Her HP is so high, and she already has capped resistance, right? Yeah, her resistance is already capped, 21. Okay. Lapis. I mean, I mean this is not Lapis, what am I saying? <laughs> hmm. Like this, like what? anything we have that has decent accuracy. This thing, whatever this is. Were you raised by wolves? Actually, I should check the details on this weapon. Battle axe that exudes an otherworldly ore. Yeah, that's... That's something. <laughs> that's a text. Mm, let's see... Should attack next. I Anytime. Mean, she needs levels. And... I feel like she can dodge, so... Hopefully. Please dodge. <laughs> Man, the fact that you couldn't beat them with you couldn't get a crit is so sad. Hmm. Let me do this. Silver Dagger does move. Why is every single unit here if, yeah, surviving with one health, huh? That's not a skill, that's just a thing that's happening. Okay. I mean, one, two, three, four isn't enough. I'm just, I'm gonna... Should I just do this? And then just use the Tomahawk? Alright. Oh, cool. That's how a lady does it. This should actually be much, this should work now. And then we use the World Out, and then we have Chain Attack. Alright. If I may. I'll cut you down. Oh, I'm gonna quit now. Oh, okay. They didn't realize they would actually re-roll those numbers. Hmm. Why did it re-roll like that? Weird. 
Yeah, and you're still alive at one health. That's annoying. Oh, but not this. You don't survive that. What if I do this? If I attack you with Brave Lance, for one, it's not enough. But you can't you can't walk around either. This is literally blocking your attack. Alright, like you can't Yeah, like you can only attack Goldmare. Or Alfred. That's cool. Okay. Obscure it. Sure. Why are you getting around to participate now? I'm strong after all. Alright, let's see. Gentility. Yes, this is what I wanted. Gentility. This is insane, by the way. Takes three less damage? Holy. That's good. So. Yeah, Hector doesn't have to be in range for anything. It's okay. And then just heal. Cedo can't do anything. He's just. Oh, there's Slayer. Must you as well. He's just hanging out. Probably gonna be like the last unit I move. Cause I'm not sure what other how else I'm gonna move the rest of my units. Like, look at this. There's only four enemies here. Hmm. Move Jay first, and then we can move you, and then Mira. And this is just normal. Okay. And I'm just gonna heal up to Mira. Yeah, see it all doesn't have to be on the side. The side is very strong. Oh, nice! There's barely any enemies here. And even if there was, I mean, a Leer has like 40 speed. Right? Like his speed is atrociously high. Right? He has 36 base speed. And then he gets an extra four from Emblem. With like 100 E dodge or something. <laughs> it's kinda stupid. Alright, is this thing dodge it? Oh, it's 0% accuracy. Oh, okay. Huh. That's the reason why I did give her a roll down, by the way. Alright, you did attack Gold Man. Actually, that's perfect. Oh, I thought you was going to attack Alfred. I, think, I just didn't want to move my characters. Okay, dodge it. Okay. Wow, you actually are very slow. Thank you for that. And this guy's also just going to his death. Man, I'd be scared of probably be the MVP of this fight again, maybe. I mean, just for being able to fly across the map is super nice. Alright, where are you throwing the meteors? Okay, that's fine. No one's over there anymore. And that's also kind of okay. Alright. Oh, there's reinforcements. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? This is kind of cool. I was like, man, there's nothing here. Can I? Can something happen on this map? It's so nothing. Nothing's going on. At least on the right side. That helps. This map looks like it's gonna be a breeze, and we're already halfway through the map. All right. I mean, sure, I did lose a unit, but that's just because I'm still not used to the meteor thing. Right? Like, I'm just not used to it. Okay. Um, Jade. And then DMA, uh, yeah, the usual. I'm gonna move you guys forward. And Ivy doesn't have to participate in like anything. I, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna push this guy to attack. I'm trying to get him out of range. Then you have these guys, which they're just gonna have to deal with it. They're gonna have to deal with the fact that they're not gonna be participating in like anything. Hmm. I say that, but. Let us be this. off. Hmm. Let's see. If I go like like Panette, right? Because I want her to gain some experience here. I can do this, which is very nice. And I'm gonna do this. But she's the weakest character on my team now. I really hope the final chapter. How patient you Were you raised by wolves? For some reason, I thought they said that she was going to kill without a crit. HP and strength. That sounds like her. Let's see. I am going to have Louie just guard this place. And this. But first, I got to find out, like, where exactly Louie would have to go. Like, right here? Okay, and then dance. 
Alright, I think we're fine now. I feel wonderful. Louis just gonna block everything there because he does have Hector. Alright, he has Hector, so he'll be fine. And this is a 1 2 weapon, so any enemy that comes across him is just gonna die, I think. Because he's at above My apologies. Alright, so he's a wall now. Heavy attack. And making a physical attack if an equipped weapon might exceed units build adds excess as damage. Oh, okay. I mean the weapon would have to be like super heavy. And my build just increases all the time, so it doesn't work. Sadly. Alright, now this is the scary part. Like I'm gonna have to use this left side to fight. Uh, whew, saved me. My problem is I'm gonna have to survive two attacks. Veil is a hero though. You have Veil. So that's not necessarily a hard thing to do, I think. Alright, so this is like the safest spot we have. And then you have this. Okay. So Veil is gonna have to fight Chris. That's kind of fine. Okay. Where are. What do we gotta do now? Just got attacking Ivy so that he's no longer in the way. And we're gonna fight Briss as well. Next turn. The, oh, that's right, it's a pack. Okay. I was like, what are you guys doing? There's nothing there. Oh, that's right, it's a pack. Observe your ruin. And so your tail is. That guy actually dealt one damage to me. Well, I, I think. If it landed. Did it land? No, it didn't. Nice. nice. Alright, cool. Man, Hector is so nice. That was eye-opening. TP's nice and all with the extra stats, but Hector just having any unit double. Holy. Okay, this is where things are getting interesting, I see. Uh, oh, we can give it a Gris next turn. Alright, we can, we can do that. It's not really a big deal for us. And we, we can, like, finish you off without aggroing Zephia. Yeah, we can. We can just do this. Alright, goodbye. Yeah, you are the last one. Okay. Let's see here. There's like the fact that there's all these enemies just stockpiling over here in the corner, I think it's kind of hilarious. Like, holy, what are you doing over there? Like it's I just think it's funny. Like 100 avoidance, like. Like she's probably gonna be fine if I even just if I just equip this. Because these guys can barely hit anything. Alright, but the thing is, Tamara is just not that strong. Uh, if I equip the Lin. Uh, if I engage it Lin anyways, it's not gonna make it any stronger. I mean I could go here. Actually, hold on. Yeah, yeah I could go here. Use the spear and attack this one, right? Just so I can get speed taker snack. Definitely possible because that increases my avoidance, right? Hmm. I'm gonna work a bell here. Like they both are in range, right? They're both in range. Hmm. Do I wanna aggro Gris and Zephyr at the same time? No, right? I don't think I want to. Because I feel like that would be very difficult for this side. This side isn't that strong, right? Like, okay. I am going to do this, though. I was talking it up as if I wasn't going to... And then I just stopped, didn't do it. I am doing this. Like, she's not getting to uh, Zephyr. I don't think that's why, so this doesn't matter. Is upon our enemy. Get a speed taker stack. Boom. 107 avoidance. And that guy had the most accuracy, so unless they can hit it like 10 accuracy or something, then I here to have a good time. Units HP is 75% unless after combat grants five five more. That's cool. Okay. Alright then let's get rid of this guy. 
Um, you do one damage. What is this? What is this? Allow me. Okay. This right side is a lot more up a good than fight. the left side, huh? Left side just straight, goes straight to the boss, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Weird. Okay. So I'm gonna deal with you. I mean. You have a sword, but like your resistance is actually good. Oh, it's because you're a Griffin Knight. Oh, okay. Oh, that's really confusing. I was like, why is your stats like unusually actually good for whatever you are? Oh, it's I thought it was a Wyvern Rider. Bond up, Violet, strong body needs engaged, stays for one more turn. She has something maxed. Defense. Right, max defense is 26. That's so unfortunate. Okay. I mean, I've just been spoiled with it being so high for so long, huh? Alright, so we have to, like, worry about these guys. And we can't really do anything about that right now, so we're just hanging out, I guess. So we're just gonna heal you up. Um, like, right here or something. Holy, I was about to end the turn right there. Or oh, have her stay there. I would love to and fact that they... Thank you. You have to aggro like Zephyr away from Chris, and then you can fight them like individually, I guess. Hmm. Otherwise, it'd be kind of tough. I mean, if Fram was on this side, I would feel a lot more confident. But I don't have Fram on this side. Is this the max level? Wait, no, it's not. I just saw him gain experience. Yeah, it's not the max level. Okay. I guess because he has a special class, so I guess it gets pushed to 40, maybe? I'm back in action! Every single time I see a character that's like a special class that goes past level 20, the cap tends to just be 30 for them instead, that's why. Alright. Chris. And Zephyr, actually. Yeah, both of them. It's gonna be tough. Because Zephyr has Thoron. Can I, like, freeze? Next turn. Next turn, I'm gonna try to freeze them. See what happens. Or oh, aggro them away. Alright, what are you gonna do? Okay, cool. 7% accuracy is definitely. Uh. Man, that's good. The 10% here did, though. That's cool. A good wind. Alright, yeah, these guys, which is annoying. But what can you do? Oh, this isn't enough. I mean, it's fine. It's not like it's a strong weapon. Why oh, didn't you didn't realize he was level 19 already? Alright, well, that's good to know. Alright, where is this going? I mean, that doesn't really. Oh, man, are you serious? Oh, jeez. Okay, this actually is a really garbage turn. Okay. is to push her like away and I guess the best what would be the best way right like you can't now because they have this oh man okay god dang it okay what kind of weapon do these guys have silver axe and tomahawk okay so we're just gonna do this we're gonna keep doing this speed taker yeah. So we don't get hit. A thousand curses upon our enemy. Yeah, we're just gonna keep increasing our avoidance, I think. So it must be like 110 or something, right? It's 111. It's accuracy. It's less than that. And they both can attack her. Okay. I just have to not be in this range. Diamond. Let's see what you can do here. I mean, a silver axe would be preferred, I guess. I mean, a Leer can. Yeah, back up, right? I'll go first. Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, I think we're fine. I mean... Yeah, Zephyr's like, attack range is, like, right there. But we can't pull her in this turn because those meteors... But... No, Katie's with those meteors is so sad to see. It's not great. Okay, so we can go here. We can just do this and then just chain guard. 
I mean, I could engage with fire left and then unengage, I think, and then pick this up. All right, I, I, I really think that works, but I'm not doing that. Actually, with this, this might work. All right, like this might work. Uh, let me cook down thunder. Can we speed? Yeah, that might work because um, it gets destroyed, so. Yeah, and these units might be in danger. Like, Alfred would actually get hit from this range. I mean, I have to move out of the way anyways, because it's dangerous here now. Oh, and Louis, you gotta go back here. Like, it's actually dangerous, so they can't be here. Especially Alfred. Alfred would just get toasted, I think, by Zephyr. I think. Let me do this. Um, I mean, this is fine. She can go here. What do you guys have? Silver Axe? Hurricane Axe? Yeah, that's fine. And then we can just do this. Alright, cool. Those meteor, rain Those meteor locations are very awkward. But I think Zephyr is going to attack Ivy, I think. I hope. That's kind of my goal. I didn't bother actually looking to see if she was in range. Alright, you attack Louie. Yep, naturally. Oh wow, it's not 100% accuracy. I mean, this guy's like a sword master, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's okay. Alright. The other guy can't hit him, though. Sad. It doesn't look like Ivy's in range, though. She would have attacked first. A good wind. Alright, and then the other guy's gonna attack me as well. Omaha. 0% hit, nice. It doesn't kill. Oh, I mean, it's not a face. A thousand in a row. curses upon our enemy. Nice. Alright, you're gonna attack, yeah, Lapis here. She needs the. You're going so, down. Nice. I won't let this go to my head. Because with defensive stats are low. Alright, and she gained defensive stats, which I like. And then there's this one. Alright, oh, we have a hurricane. Oh, the hurricane axe doesn't attack first. Okay, this is, this is kind of perfect though. The fact that Ivy didn't attack though. What's their range? Oh, I was one out. I was one away. Oh man, that's so sad. I was one away from having her attack us. Okay, okay. I want the net to gain some experience, but like she doesn't have like star speed or anything, so I'm kind of nervous to do that. Alright, just gonna brave lance and just hope for the best. No, that's kind of just asking for trouble. I can just do this. Hey, this is fine. Here. Oh, there we go. I win this one. Let's see something good. Oh, amazing! Amazing. Okay. And I'm always on the fence on which one's better. Yeah. Um. What you call it? Yeah, who is better between Tiki and Hector in this game? In the for the DLC, right? It's always hard to choose. They're both insanely good. Now, one, two, three. Like she has to move over here, right? Like either over here or somewhere. Like she has to get closer. What's her range? Uh, like, right here would be perfect. And then we just set up the ability to do something right here. And we can do this. Because if I do this, I'm in range of Zephyr. Zephyr which is not really what we want. We're gonna L fire. Alright, cool. I think we're fine now. We can, we can set up to beat Zephyr in one turn here, I think. We have everything we need. That's why. Yes, I think so. And then we have the side uh, over here, which can't fight Gris yet because Zephyr is gonna come charging They're in. They're strong. Us and killing us, I think. Or we're gonna get double teamed. I think we're fine. 
Hey, thanks. It just sucks because the meteors are gonna happen too. I'm mean, actually no, that's fine. If meteors happen, yeah, this is okay. This is good. I think we're in a good spot. Are other enemies here? Oh, you. Oh, okay. That's whatever. Okay, gear, and then you have gold mirror, which is fine. I didn't realize this wasn't gonna get destroyed. If this was destroyed, then she probably would have. No, I mean we're, we're fine regardless. Okay, let's keep on moving. Are you gonna attack us? And so your tail ends. Let's see. Sekai's gonna move. Yep. My dear, sweet divine dragon, we've been through a lot together, haven't we? Zephia, you must have known who I was a thousand years ago. Yes, I believe we met, but the details are hazy. Lord Sombron had so many children, you see. A bug would have had more luck getting my attention. Oh? Am I that forgettable? Oh, not at all. You're the Divine Dragon now. But in due time, you'll be me. One tends to lose count of the lives that pass by. You'll understand one day. I will never be like you. <laughs> well, it barely matters anyway. You aren't leaving this place. You're going to die right now. Alright, she has a door on. It's good she doesn't have any accuracy. Alright. Yeah, this thing, which is gonna be annoying. It's a good thing it's attacking Ivy, so I can... Get oh well. Actually, that doesn't really matter. Oh, Chris is on the move. Alright, what are these media locations gonna look like? Alright, you know, this is actually kind of okay. Okay. Can we beat them both in one turn? Hmm. Interesting. This requires to beat Zephyr and Chris. Can I beat them both this turn? I kind of want to try. Hmm. And the amount, if you could have enough range, that would have been great. But, it's also not bad, because he has a hand axe, and you can just go right here and beat this guy. Okay. You can get Parthia. Armored Flying Dragon. You're Dragon, aren't you? Hmm. Engage. Lend me your strength! Okay, let's do this. We'll use Parallel Falcon. Of course, this does beat. Yeah, it gets rid of one bar of health. Very easy. All right, I think we're good here. I'll change the future into hope. Yeah, he is gonna get an over excessive amount of experience though, because he's winning a lot. He's gonna be doing a lot of damage. This. Goodbye. I'll go first. You have my thanks. Okay. You do this. You can use Elf Thunder here. Chain attack works. Uh, it helps. Will it be me or you who dies here? I wonder. Allow me. Yeah. Good. 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 A level two, and she's been loving up a line this chapter. Man, it's nice. Okay. And then we can just do this. Actually, no, I was gonna engage and then use I was gonna engage and, and then summon with Veronica, but that might actually be really bad. <laughs> Let's see. Because what if they summon in front of North? Alright, that would have been a problem. No help. Uh, what can you do? Yeah. All right. Oh, she gained a full level. Whoa. I mean, I'll take it. Hmm. See, Diamond can go here. 
Alright, and then just use a Silver Axe. Yeah, maybe you can. I'll go first. Goodbye. <laughs> one last health bar, and I mean, it's not like they get stronger, I don't think, in this one now, because it's not purple, right? No purple health bars. I mean, there's Soren, so just in case we can, we should, we need an extra little bit of damage. We could. But instead, we can just do this and just use a Hurricane Axe. Right? And then it just chunks out her health. It's a one shot, really. Here we go. Allow me. Uh, quite strong. Lord Sombra. No. All right. So we just have. I'm gonna assume the next chapter is the final one. I mean, unless we're fighting like clones of all of them. All right. Final level three, cool, thank you. I just didn't want Alir to get the last hit because he's already in level 20, right? Now, let's see. How are we gonna set this up? Because I'm assuming that the amount of healing we could do, because you want like I'm prepared. these characters. I feel to get attacked first. So I'll do this. Attack it will down. I hope I can dodge. Live as a hound, die as a hound. Or if I can get it. I won't waste this chance. That's cool. Alright, yeah, perfect. Let's see. Now we have this. Now this is a little bit different. I mean, that's not okay. Me first. Him having only like 44 HP really helps, and he's a savior, right? Don't make me angry. Right, I'm too good. Right, he is. Right, yeah, he is a sage. Okay. Can I just do this? And it will be fine. Let's do that. So, Lady Vale, where's my reward? Reward? The real Lady Vale promised me all the agony my heart could want. I was really looking forward to it. The cold, the severity. But in the end, nothing. Not even a scratch. That Vale? She's gone now. Yeah, because you killed her. So you can't be all bad. Now, you tell me. How are you gonna do it? Kill me, I mean. I'll never forgive you, Gris. But I never hated you. At least from the start. I think I understand why you were with the Hounds. Why are you? But I'm not cruel. None of this will be... a reward. Allow me. Okay, this should be do a it. Lot of yeah. He laughs when he attacks him. Exquisite. Goodbye, Chris. Chris, see you in. Oh yeah. Mortal wounds. The really good ones. Can't say no to any of that. Right, we're gonna see them in the battle paralog, which I'm super excited for, by the way. We did it! We broke the Fell Dragon Shard! Wait, Tamira is MVP? Is it because she held back so many enemies on the on the right side? I guess so, huh? Like, huh? Uh, I mean, Ivy didn't actually attack that many enemies. Tamara did hold off like eight enemies by herself. Hmm, that is true, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, okay. I wasn't expecting it at first. When I think about, yeah, okay. <laughs> I suppose you've won. I'm sorry, Lord Sombra. The battle is over. We should go. Goodbye, Zephia. Goodbye, Gris. I'm glad I could say that properly this time. Oh, Gris can't hear anything now. But don't worry. 
I'll tell him on the other side. Thank you. <laughs> One last thing before I go. You won't be able to break the next Fell Dragon shard. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, it used to be in the mountains. Gradlon rose so mightily. But those mountains crumbled. That spot is now under a lake. Reaching the shard would be difficult. And then destroying it? Surely impossible. It's at the bottom of a lake? I did sense that one of them was weaker and farther away than the others. But I never imagined this. What do we do now? Simple. You raise the mountains. Or drain the lake. Please, take this. An enchanted crystal that will bring that location... in reach. How did you get this? I am a mage dragon. My kind are capable of making magical objects. Small charms and such, you understand. But magic of this magnitude? That drains our years. To craft an object that would alter the very terrain around you... I've paid a steep price. Sophia, you don't mean... Yes. It's making this crystal that has led to my end. The magic in exchange for my life. <laughs> you two were quite fortunate, you know. Of all the mage dragons that ever were, only I am powerful enough to create this. I learned at the youngest age that I had vast powers that were... difficult to control. I would control them in time, but not before my mother, father, and many others died. Oh, memories. Back to the here and now. My very powerful gift. Why are you helping us now? <sighs> I'm not sure of that myself. Perhaps here at the close, I'm feeling that it's just the right thing to do. The crystal's enchantment will last for only a few hours. So hurry along. The shard awaits. Do be careful, Lady Vale. I'll pray for your good fortune in the battles ahead. You... You could have done this at any time! Any time at all! But now you're dying! We could have made things right! If only you told us any of this before we fought, maybe we could have forgiven! Why now, indeed? Because it is the end. Huh? I can be kind just this once. Because it's too late for me to make things right. Had I done any of this earlier, would you have really forgiven me? We, allies. <laughs> Nonsense. I had no intention of dying today. But then, all this happened. So... I made you a crystal. I doubt any of you could swim to that shard. It's a long, long way down. Sephia, I... I don't understand you. Some advice, dear? Leave those you cannot understand behind. Forget them entirely. It's just unsettling to let someone like that linger in your thoughts as you grow old. Once we defeat Papa and peace arrives, I won't forget you, Zephia. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of years may pass. Oh, child. No more of that, please. Hurry off to that shard. Unless you prefer to stay and watch me die. Would that make you feel safer? Let's go, Vale. Yes. Go. We can at least end things with a clean slate. Goodbye, Lady Vale. And to you, our new emblem. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sephia.
Thank you... for everything. <laughs> you are too kind, child. Hmm, that was dialogue, that's for sure. I didn't... I don't feel... We're gonna be doing the Feral Paralogue after this anyways, so all this isn't really as big of a... Yeah. Yes. Four Hounds are family. There was truth in those words, but we could not end this family. Yes. So the Four Hounds are no more. I don't have any regrets. Still, I am a little sad. Right, let's grab some shinies. Oh, why don't we? Doesn't kind of like I'm not. I don't really care about those characters that much because they are bad guys. And I mean, yeah. But we have the Feral Paralog, so it's okay. Right, I can like them in the Feral Paralog. I feel. So I don't feel so bad about not. You know. Cherishing the cutscene. That makes sense. Okay, let's just. Man, we have to go back to the Somnio, and let me just say, this is gonna be painful. <laughs> There's a lot of support conversations. I can accept a couple, I think they're cool. But man, when there's like 10 of them, I'm like, holy mother of pearl. Please, game, please have mercy on me. I don't. <laughs> it's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much support conversations. Okay. Hell of a time to switch sides. My word. I thought they had killed you. What? You think I'm gonna kick off in the middle of this once-in-a-lifetime pain? This is the good stuff. And I gotta savor every last drop. Would have been real ticked off if they put me out of my misery, not gonna lie. That's really the reason you were playing dead? <laughs> Even at the end, you're an odd man. How come you told them about the shard? Like I said, I'm just trying to wipe the slate clean. Cut that out. I want to know the truth, okay? To get back at Lord Sombron, I guess. Why should I die in the dust while he... While he gets everything he wanted just like that? Does that seem fair? Now that they know about the Shard, they're sure to break it. And he'll know I've met my end, that he's lost me forever. You gotta really love somebody, if you want to hurt him that badly. I wasn't in love with Lord Sombron. I just wanted him to give me a child of my own. That was the dream I clung to through all of the long years. A family, the love of a daughter or a son. When I called the Hounds my family, I meant every word of it. What we had was something very rare indeed. You, me, Marnie, Mavir, working together to protect Lord Sombron and Lady Vale. But it's too late for all that now. If you were gonna turn on Sombron, why'd you wait? If you'd done it sooner, maybe we'd still be together. And maybe I wouldn't find myself bleeding out at the moment. I have to wonder if you'd have been happier on the other side. You really think I would just abandon you? Not a chance in hell. <sighs> the Four Hounds. A family. I always did like the sound of that. I can't even remember what my parents' faces looked like. You're the closest thing I had to a mother. Ever since the first day you met me, poor little twisted disciple that I was, hoping that my suffering would be good enough in the eyes of Lord Sombron. You were like a mom to me, and a big sister. Honestly, even a god. The most important person in the world to me. Chris, I don't like this joke. <sighs> it's no joke. I'd follow you anywhere, dummy. You're right. How could I have been so blind? The one thing I always wanted, 
staring me in the face all the while. If only I had realized. But no, it's too late to think of that. I hope you forgive me. We are a family. I thank you. Zephia, you drifted off already. Guess I will, too. No reason to stick around without her. Nothing hurts me anymore. Okay, I am really looking forward to the Fail Paralogue actually now. Oh, this looks like the second to last chapter, doesn't it? I just realized that um, you can see a kind of a castle on the on the western part there, and this must be the second to last chapter, 24. Right? I mean, it looks like it. I mean, I don't see any other like thing. From the on the map, so this is probably okay. What does it say? Onto the powerful artifact from Zephia, the party heads to a lake in pursuit of sunk of a sunken shard. We are going to the Somnio to end this. So in terms of story, that's gonna be it. I am very excited for the Feral Paradox. I, for some reason, I was really thinking that I don't really care if it's that long. But now that I'm this far in the story, I actually really want the Pharaoh Paralog to be a cup to be like maybe five chapters or something. All right, I don't know how long it is. I never even bothered checking. I I don't know how many chapters. I don't know how long it takes to complete. The average hours. I know nothing of that. So it's I'm kind of excited for it. I like having you around, Roy. Your strength complements my sophistication. That uh, sure. Yeah, we work well together. Oh, I didn't even engage, right? I mean, it's not needed because my character levels are a little bit high. That power lock really forced me to boost my character stats, I think. Hey, Camilla. I brought down this huge bear earlier. Do you like meat? I do like it. I particularly enjoy beef. I've never tried bear before. I wonder how it tastes. Okay, I'm, once again, I'm only gonna do like five support power stations. Lightning? What is that? Um, one, two, magic. Oh, it, oh, it attacks twice. Okay. I mean, there's the one I had for grit from Gris as well, right? Let me find that. Let me just put this away. Goddess's icon, more luck, right? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, for this. Let's see. Just a heavy blade, basically. Nova. User initiates combat, attacks twice. Cool. It's not effective against anything, unfortunate, but you know. Let's see. Support. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's do this. Probably five. Hmm. Oh, Ivy. Did you need something from me? No, Divine One. Must I require something to remain near you? No, it's not that. I see. Then please feel free to ignore me. I would, but... It's difficult to ignore the anger on your face. <sighs> the Kingdom of Illusia worships the Fell Dragon, doesn't it? If that's the case, I can certainly see why you would feel uncomfortable around me. You can't imagine how I feel. 
If you can explain it, I'd love to understand. It might reduce this distance between us. True. But we should get used to each other first. We'll talk when we're more comfortable. For now, I will leave you be and worship from afar. Worship? And they just reminding me. Uh, because I'm assuming we have every character unlocked, unless you actually gain access to the Foul Parallel characters. I want to see if I want, if I have a playthrough where I could pick every character that's connected to one character in particular. Like, like having one connected to Alir, that would be difficult because that's every character in the game. But if I have a team that just consists of every character that's on prime support conversation, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I mean, that's a team, right? That would be kind of cool. Hmm, that does sound kind of fun. Like, you would have to have, like, clan as, like, a sage or something so you could have extra healers. But this is flooded with backup characters. And, of course, you'd have to bring a Leer. But he's in everyone, so he's with everyone, so he would be in every group anyways. And then the last character could be anyone. Yeah, it could be... Seed all, I guess. Yeah, that would work. That would be fun. Hmm. I'm not sure if I would do that. If I would record that, though. Whew. I've hit my limit for training today. Excellent work, Divine One. I brought a hot towel for your face. I think you will find it most refreshing. Thank you, Vander. That's very kind of you. I have also prepared a fresh change of clothes for you. When you change, deposit your dirty clothes into the basket, and I will wash them for you. I appreciate your generosity, Vander, but I'd prefer to take care of my own laundry. Certainly you have other tasks to keep you busy. My only obligation is to you, Divine One. Feel no hesitation in asking me for anything. But... It has been my duty to wait on you since long before you awakened. Were you to assume my duties for yourself, my position would cease to exist. So please, leave these trivialities to me where they belong, and trouble yourself no further. Again, I appreciate your willingness to help me, but I do feel a bit bad about all this. There is nothing in all of Elios to feel bad about, Divine One. Now I must insist you change out of your damp clothes before you catch yourself a cold. Okay, I also have to want to check. Like, for example, if I had a playthrough where I used everyone that was connected to Vander, and he was just right up here, wasn't he? How much characters would this be? Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? So having only 10 characters, huh? Like, you'd have Saphir, Linden. This is a weird combo. Huh. It would make, like, gold marries on here for some reason. Man, this sounds fun. This sounds like a fun idea. Like, what if you just pick some a group that's just consists of Alchris's group? So Alchris, Lapis, Diamant, Alir, Seedal. I... Wait, how much carry? One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve. So you'd have to actually drop one character. Because this is 13 characters. Hmm. Someone that's... Who would you drop, though? It would have to be Saphir, because she's the last one, right? It would have to be Saphir, because you get her so late. Hmm. Now that I think about it, what about Saphir? A group that consists of characters that's connected to Saphir. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Yeah, dropping her, because, um... Then you can make a group that's just hers, and then you can actually... Okay. That's kind of a that's a fun idea. Hmm. Stylish clothes for you and me. It's like furniture for your body. That's a fun song, Princess Tamara. That's cuz I'm having fun. It's exciting to pick out someone else's clothes for a change. Got yours ready to go? Yep, I'm all set. Me too. Okay, without any further ado, show me what you picked out. Brace yourself. I selected, just for you, this cute frilly dress! Ah! I love it! I knew you would. Come on and feel this fabric. It's nice and thick. Oh, uh, 
Uh, it is? Yep. All your clothes are so light, I figured you might like something a little warmer. How, uh, thoughtful of you. What is it? Huh? Oh, sorry. I love it, Fram. Now, ready to see what I chose for you? Ta-da! It's a scarlet robe! <gasps> it's so cute! Yeah? I added some flashy accessories to make that distinctive dye in the robe really pop. I love it! This is exactly my color! It looks nice and breathable, too! <laughs> right? I thought something nice and lightweight would suit you. Wait! Oh, shoot! What's wrong? I just remembered a thing I gotta get to. Uh, princess business, you know how it is. Sorry, Fram. I'll make it up to you. I promise! Huh. That was sudden. Something seemed kind of off there. Maybe she didn't like the dress I picked out. Okay, let's see. How many conversations do we have left? Oh, brother, this is a lot. Okay. Mm. Oh, and I'm looking at more, and okay, this is fine. Prince Diamond, I wanted to apologize for earlier. What do you mean? I failed to thank you properly. Both for your discretion and for the gem you gave me. Please let me make amends by expressing my gratitude now. Thank you. Oh, please don't worry about that. Brodia has a lot to answer for. Offering a token like that gem is the least I can do. It's true, Brodia has invaded our lands many times. I often wonder how my people would have fared without that suffering and bloodshed. I'm not surprised. That's why you don't owe me any gratitude. I hope you understand. But you stepped in to help me. One person to another, in accordance with your values. Hmm. That is why, in accordance with my values, I want to thank you. I see. If that's how you truly feel, Princess Ivy, then I accept your gratitude. It's all too easy for one individual to give a simple thank you to another. Apologies are much the same. It is when kingdoms are involved that it gets complicated. That's true. My father was focused on our kingdom's affairs when he began expanding our territory by force. That singular focus is how things have always been done in Brodia. But that needs to change. What do you mean? My father is no longer here, but his influence remains. Change will take time. If there's an easier way, I haven't found it yet. I often wonder if I'm ready to be king. I know exactly how you feel. <sighs> I apologize. I didn't mean to unload like that. No, I understand. I'm actually relieved to hear that you have the same concerns I do. I am much more hopeful now for that future when you and I are king and queen. It's just reminding me, I have to get a bond conversation with, um, Panette. <laughs> So, um, let's head to the... Oh, oh. That, oh, there's... I didn't... Okay, that's... I didn't realize there was new stuff here. Um, what's in here? I mean, this is just a new trial things, right? Tempest trial. Okay, let's check. I never bothered doing this just because, um... I haven't felt a need to. These are cool, but... I don't really know what I should do in there. Okay. And then we have the flea market. And then the store? I mean, I'll take new items, like new stabs and stuff, because I'm always running out, like more rescue stabs. I kind of wish it was already infinite already. But I'm assuming a lot of them do become infinite, because... I'm going to make a guess that we're close to beating the game. Also, I'm wondering what the post game of this game is going to be like. I mean, we're still quite a ways away from it. Because, um, we have... Is that Alfred? Yeah, because we have the Fell Paralog, so we're not necessarily that close. Uh, this is the only thing that's changed. Wait, Supreme Rod? Oh. That's cool. Alright, let's check out the store. What is it? It's the Armory and the Item Shop. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Hmm. 
New goods in stock. Okay, cool. It's just big convoy. Let's see. What is it? Wait, and you said new goods in stock. What is it? I don't. Huh? Is it? Did some things become infinite or something? Like more physics stats to cover, fortify, and trample them. Am I not looking at things properly? What's. What changed? I'm assuming some of these just got renewed. Like we got like more fracture stats and stuff. And more physics stats. That's my guess. Do come again. I don't know what changed. Right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. What does this place have? Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. Like I, I think it's just you get more of what's already there. Is my guess. We don't get anything new. We just get a little bit more. Okay. I mean, it's not nearly as exciting as it could have been. That's kind of boring. Okay. Take care. I kind of want to get Star Spear on Panette. So let's go to the arena. Alright, Panette, you need to get this item. And also, I should give her, like, the hand axe or something. I don't know. I should upgrade something for her. Net, where are you? There we go. And have it with Tiki. Boom. Right. Rolling one on one is not for the weak of heart. Her defensive stats are low, so. Divine Dragon Tribe. And Star Spirit hopefully will give her more like defensive stat increases. Otherwise. So oh, sorry. Are you injured? Okay, I kind of, yeah, I still feel kind of bad that I didn't give her Tiki before. I am Panette, one of Princess Tamara's retainers. How fare you today? Ooh, I love the way you talk. It's so fancy. We're going to get along well. I know it. Okay. Let's see. Geosphere and, yeah, Sphere Inheritance. That's all we needed. Uh, I'll just deal with all the rest of the stuff I got, you know. Now, let's let's do a couple more support conversations. We have a lot of going through because um, there's a lot of support conversations to be had in this game. You know, it's still infinitely better than Three Houses ones because Three Houses is like a it's like a book. <laughs> if it was, it's a lot in that game. I always forget how good the the music in that game is. Because I actually just heard an OST from Three Houses, which it was very recognizable. You can kind of tell when it's a Three Houses music or OST, and it's really nice. Uh, and yeah, it does have good, but the supports are a little bit too long for my taste. Lady Anna, I've made an item that perfectly captures the spirit of your village. What? For real? That was quick! Yes, I took some bits and bobs I found lying around and made them into a snowman doll. Wow! It's so cute! That's not all. See that bell the snowman is holding? Give it a twist. Like this? Hey, it even plays music! How'd you get it to do that? Someone threw out a music box, so I incorporated it into the design. Oh, and if you look at the doll from different angles, it sparkles. I stuck shiny little pebbles onto it. That's genius! Oh, I knew I had an eye for talent! And since you just used cast-off materials, our production costs are practically nothing! This is the best! It combines my two favorite things, cute and free! I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a chance to flex my creative muscles. Trust me, I'm the one who should be thinking you here. Just wait until you get your share of the profits. We're gonna make a killing! Alright, I think I'm gonna do one more support conversation. So, it should be, like, Vale? And, like, hmm. Alfred. Why not? Lady Vale. Oh, Alfred. You're drenched in sweat. Are you feeling okay? It's so, so 
soup I see. What is? The soup I'm eating. Wait, is that all? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> you just look so dead set on eating that soup, no matter how spicy it is. It's my favorite, but I can't help making a weird face every time I eat it. I know. How about you give it a try? It's so spicy, you'll make a weird face too. Just you wait and see. Challenge accepted. <laughs> see? Your face was way weirder than mine. I win! Okay, I think that's a good thing to uh, end things off on. Alright, cool. So that's gonna do it for this video. So until next time, I'll see y'all later where we continue the story. Bye.